Uh, what about radio? What were you guys listening? Was the um, radio influence I mean, to you, or was you know there was a there was a very anti rock and roll, uh, anti like electric guitar sentiment in the house, so and that was a that was a pretty strong anti that sentiment. So, you know, all, I remember we were hanging out with you know the people that we were hanging out with were very like very into like uh, Death Cab for Cutie and Smashing Pumpkins, and um. I remember we weren't, we didn't listen to that stuff. And I don't know why, but we just never got into it. But we were still hanging out with all of them. I yeah. kind of regret it now because I feel like I I, m- I missed out on a certain aspect of, of our era of growing up and being an experiencing teenager. Yeah, um, I think that we were, we were very involved. Like we had an acapella quartet, so we were listening to a lot of different really dorky <laughs> acapella, like, like acapella groups because we were learning about it so right. we were learning how to arrange learning music theory learning all that stuff and then we were also you know theater nerds so we were listening to theater all the time and all that stuff and then we were also classical musicians so we were really into classical music and learning all that stuff for whatever orchestras we were in or summer camps or whatever and then on top of that we were also really getting into jazz and we got into Django Reinhardt and all that jazz and i just remember like learning about just any anything that was on the radio was like oh this is crap you gotta check out Django <laughs> reinhardt you know that's real music <laughs> like I, a like a real winner <laughs> no i i feel like i know you guys we had lots of friends in high no, school no <laughs> i understand because i mean i was in marching band so yeah there, we had similar discussions about yeah um have you been to the you 